Hi everyone, my name is Wakas and I'm a second year internal medicine resident and in this video we're going to talk about how I got through all of medical school without taking any notes or going to lectures. I know you all remember taking notes to the point your hands hurt. You try to keep up in class during our lectures only to fall behind because there's just that much information to learn. We're conditioned to think that note taking, highlighting, and rereading are the best ways to learn new material, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The better techniques and proven techniques are active recall and spaced repetition, which I'll get into in the rest of this video. Now I know that everyone has their own learning styles, but when you have mountains worth of information to learn, note taking is not only ineffective, it's time consuming. So the techniques that I'm gonna talk about in this video can be applied just to general learning. It doesn't necessarily have to be for medical school, it could be for college as well. So when I started college as a pre-med, I was determined to ace all of my classes because I knew I wanted to go to medical school and that's what I needed to do. So the way I learned best and where I knew best was to take notes and take lots of them. I'd go to lectures and write notes, come back to my dorm and write notes, review the textbook and write notes. I would fill up a notebook upon notebook and get every detail down. Once I had all my notes done, I would reread all my notes multiple times until it was time for the exam and then I regurgitated that information on the exam. Now, don't get me wrong, that strategy worked great for me. I did end up acing all of my classes and eventually got into medical school. Once I got into medical school, I started to hear, which I'm sure a lot of you have already heard, is that learning information in medical school is like drinking water from a fire hydrant, which is true because there's just that much information to learn. But I thought to myself that I got through all of college and aced my classes by taking notes. So I'm gonna continue doing that because it worked for me then, why would it stop working now? My first class in medical school was anatomy and I was in for a big surprise at that point because I hadn't realized that I need to adapt. I stuck to my old ways of learning because it worked for me then, really wanted to make it work now. After my first semester went by, it was a blur. But I did realize that me taking notes and studying the way that I did was not sustainable. At the end of that semester, I was left fatigued and burnt out, which was really scary for me because it was only my first semester into medical school. I started to question myself. I thought like, how could I spend every day writing notes all day long? It just wasn't gonna work. On top of that, when my second semester started, we started to have all of our lectures in large lecture halls with over 200 students at one time. And that's a distracting in and of itself. So this is when I started to question myself. And that was kind of devastating because everything had always clicked for me. Everything has always lined up for me. And when I hit this hurdle, I was scared because I'm like, I'm in medical school now and everything I know about learning is not working. I felt like a failure because I couldn't figure out why I wasn't doing as well as my classmates were. I realized that everything I knew about learning no longer made sense and my strategy would not work. So what did I do? I went back to square one and created a new workflow. I took to the internet to see what other students do, what works, what doesn't, and what other strategies are. Now this wasn't a smooth, seamless, or overnight process. There was definitely an adjustment phase which took a couple months, but I got better day by day and I started to see results. Now these changes may not fit your lifestyle and how you learn, but I wanted to share my experiences about what worked wonders for me. So here's what I did. Number one, I stopped going to lectures. When my second semester started, we had lectures from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a lunch break in between. And there was no way I was gonna go to lecture and sit there and take notes all day, only to come home and then reread my notes and take notes. I already learned from my first semester that that strategy of taking notes, rereading, highlighting doesn't work for me. So I made the decision to stop going to in-person lectures. Luckily at my school, the attendance wasn't mandatory, except for a few group projects and sessions. And our lectures are recorded, so you can rewatch them from your dorm or home or wherever you live. So I decided that I would instead watch lectures from home. I thought this would make me more efficient with my time because I'm still at home. I don't have to get ready, go to, go to school, sit through the lectures all day. I can instead just be at home do what I have to do, do my work, study, and just watch the lectures on my own time. Now, this may be controversial, but this worked for me. I began to realize that I wasn't really getting much out of even watching the recorded lectures at home. I'm not that big of an auditory learner. I really need to see and do to learn. So it almost came to the point where I was just watching the lectures for the sake of watching the lectures. I wasn't really learning much from them. 
Now, every school is different, every professor is different. But for me, I noticed that for the most part, what the lectures consisted of was the PowerPoint being read verbatim at times. Sure, there were times where questions would be asked by students or the lecturer may give you a hint or point out some information that you should focus on for the exam. But outside of that, they were just reading off of the PowerPoints. So I thought to myself that I can read the PowerPoints myself. You know, I'm sitting here watching these lectures, even watching them at two times speed and I'm getting nothing out of it. So why don't I just go through the PowerPoints myself? So then I stopped watching the lectures too. And I decided that this was the time where I'm gonna take my learning into my own hands. I started to approach studying at my own pace and in a systematic way, which I'll get into next. The exception was that if I did encounter a very difficult topic, then I will just go to that part of the le recorded lecture and rewatch it. And number two, you're probably wondering, what did I do then? If I didn't go to lecture, I didn't watch recorded lectures, and I didn't take notes, then what did I do? I made flashcards using Anki. I know most of you are already aware of what Anki is. Anki is a flashcard platform that uses active recall and spaced repetition. It's proven to be one of the best techniques to learn. The program has an algorithm that strategically spaces out the flashcards and how often you see them. So for harder topics, you will see those flashcards more often. And for easier topics, you will see those flashcards less often. There are also hundreds and hundreds of Anki decks all over the internet based off of like all kinds of resources such as Step 1, First Aid, Pathoma, Boards and Beyond, Sketchy, all those. So it makes Anki almost like a one-stop shop where you can create your own flashcards based off of the material you're learning, but then you can also borrow flashcards that other people have made from any other resource out there. And people on Reddit review these flashcards and their decks and how useful they are. So what I did was I would review the PowerPoint on my own from beginning to end. And as I went through that, I would make my flashcards on Anki based off of topics that I think would be on my exams and topics that I needed to learn. Once I finished making flashcards based off of that PowerPoint, I would redo those flashcards and the algorithm would determine how often I saw those flashcards. So after I made the flashcards based off of my PowerPoints and reviewed them, I would then do flashcards from other resources such as Step 1 or Pathoma and coordinate it with the same topics that I'm currently learning in my classes. And at the end of the day, once I'm done with the flashcards and reviewing my flashcards for the day, I would do practice questions on the subjects that I'm currently covering in my lectures. So to summarize, number one, active recall. Not just rereading, highlighting, but instead summarizing, doing flashcards, spaced repetition. Two, understanding over memorizing. Knowing why and how things work, not just pumping and dumping the information from rote memorization. Three, teach others and rephrase. After a section, pause and teach yourself out loud in simpler or easier to understand terms or teach a friend or a family member. Four, practice questions. Apply what you learned. This is where you see if you truly understand the material. So these are the pivotal changes that I made after my first semester in medical school. I initially felt really uncomfortable making these changes, stopping taking handwritten notes or going to lectures because I used to be the biggest advocate of these things in college. But once I adapted to this new way of learning, I started to get better grades. I was happier and less burnt out. So I hope that my experiences provide a new perspective for you to find ways that make learning easier for you. Never be afraid to change and adapt. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.